I remember when I received my scholarship, the future was very exciting. And I kept wondering, what will the next few years bring? I know the scholars and their families must be wondering as well. Today, we have with us one of our scholars, Dr. Su Sini. She received her scholarship in 2000 and has since come back to serve in various roles at ASTAR. In 2019, together with Professor Lo Sien at the Institute of Material Research Engineering, IMRE, and colleagues at the National University of Singapore and the Singapore Eye Research Institute, Sini developed a thermogel that could serve as a long-term vitreous humor substitute to treat disorders such as retinal detachment. Let's invite Sini to tell you about her journey from scholar to scientist, leader, and entrepreneur. Sini, please. Dr. Tan Sining, Minister of Manpower, Second Minister for Trade and Industry. Ms. Chan Lai Fang, Chairman, A-Star. Mr. Frederick Chu, Chief Executive, A-Star. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Let me begin by congratulating the newly minted A-Star scholars who are here today to receive your awards. You have all done extremely well and you should be very proud of your achievements. Seeing all the young faces here today reminded me of my own scholarship ceremony back in 2000 when I received the National Science Talent Search Merit Award from Minister George Yeo. At that time, three scholarships were awarded per year by the National Science Technology Board, the predecessor to ASTAR. Professor Lo Xianjin, the Executive Director of IMRI, was the other Merit Prize Award winner. For me, receiving that scholarship was the start of a dream. A dream to pursue both my passion in medicine and in science. A dream to do clinically relevant research and to transform healthcare. Looking back, the scholarship was my golden ticket to pursue a fully funded MBBS PhD course at one of the best institutions in the world and I am immensely grateful to ASTAR for this precious opportunity. So, at the age of 18, I went on to read medicine and pursue a PhD at the University of Cambridge for nine years. Fueled by my interest in cancer biology, I did my doctoral studies at the Hutchinson MRC Cancer Cell Unit under the mentorship of the eminent Professor Ashok Venkitaraman, who amazingly has since moved to Singapore to become the director of the Cancer Science Institute at NUS and also the director of the Disease Intervention Technology Laboratory at the Institute of Molecular Cell and Biology at ASTAR, where I am now. Having the chance to train under a world-class mentor supercharged my scientific imagination. Ashok always challenged me to prioritize quality research over quantity. His constant refrain to me was always, so what? In other words, why is it important to address this particular problem? As my mentor, he taught me to always identify the killer research question, and this has served me well for all the foundation of impactful research. So, today I lead the Division of Innovative Technologies and run the Retinal Translational Research Laboratory at the Institute of Molecular and Cell Biology. Because of the generous support from ASTAR, I am blessed to lead a team of 20 researchers and have had the opportunity to lead several large collaborative research programs to develop novel solutions for otherwise untreatable and blinding conditions through material innovations and cell-based therapies. As a clinician scientist, I also see patients with retinal disease at the National University Hospital, and as an eye surgeon, enables me to identify unmet clinical needs and to bridge the gap between doctors and scientists. Passionate about mentoring the next generation of clinician scientists, I am also actively developing future clinician scientist pipeline at the NUHS Clinician Scientist Academy. Now, this is an example of how ASTAR trains their scholars to benefit the entire Singapore ecosystem. 
A key way that ASTAR has supported my team's work is through the world-class body of researchers brought under the umbrella of ASTAR. Let me give you an example of how this has borne fruit for me. As a practicing eye surgeon, I'm acutely aware that vitreous tamponades, the substance that we use to fill your eyeball after surgery, are suboptimal. The current so-called gold standards of gas and silicon oil have been around since the 1950s. This is due to the lack of material innovations, and both substances leave much to be desired. Patients with gas implants have poor vision post-op, they're unable to travel by air, and they have to adopt a face-down position post-operation. Patients with silicon oil implants will require a second removal surgery with additional risk. Thankfully, ASTAR had the perfect expertise for me to partner with to address this problem in the person of Professor Lo Xianjin, my fellow scholar whom I first met at the award ceremony 22 years ago. Now, Xianjin's world-leading material science team was the ideal group to collaborate with, and together, we combined our clinical and material expertise to develop a novel gel that resembles the native vitreous in our eyes, which is also easily injectable and biodegradable. The gel overcame all the limitations that I mentioned previously. Moreover, we are also the first in the world to demonstrate that the gel supports vitreous regeneration, previously thought to be impossible. More recent work indicates that our gel is also able to prevent post-retinal scarring, a common blinding condition after surgery. These discoveries have been published in Nature Biomedical Engineering as well as Nature Communications. We have since formed a spin-off company called Virtual Gel to take this into clinical trials. You see, other than the excellent education that your scholarship will be able to provide you, your fellow A-star scholars are also a precious resource whom you can forge your future together with. With this in mind, let me give you three quick takeaways to remember. First, science today demands collaboration. When great collaborators like Xianjin turn up, grab them and do not let them go. You will have plenty of such opportunities to do so at ASTAR. So even today, get to know your fellow ASTAR scholars. Second, in-depth interdisciplinary research is key to, drive, to driving disruptive innovation for healthcare transformation. Our vitreous substitute project was made possible only because of the vibrant interdisciplinary research ecosystem within ASTAR. It was the unique combination of basic science and surgical capability that made our research attractive to industry partners. Third, successful commercialization of technology and close collaboration with industry are key for clinical translation. Once research can only truly make an impact after it becomes a product or a drug, and I'm thankful that ASTAR has developed a conducive ecosystem for scientists like Xianjin and myself to commercialize our scientific discoveries for real-world impact. Because of this, today I'm no longer just a clinician scientist, but also an entrepreneur. In particular, I have learned the value of forging close collaborations with industry partners, and recently, my team has become pioneers in the field of retinal stem cell therapy in Singapore. We secured funding to form a joint lab with the US biotech company to develop the next generation of hypoimmunogenic stem cells for retinal therapy. This will allow better graft survival after transplant operations and also eliminate the need for additional immunosuppressive drugs. We hope to start pivotal clinical trials with Rexel in Singapore by 2024. So, my fellow ASA scholars, if you're anything like me, you are about to embark on the most exciting journeys in your life. As future leaders of science, I encourage you to have a vision to create change. As Albert Einstein once said, a person who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. So, be brave and charge forwards. You are the vanguard of science, technology and innovation for Singapore. Dream big. Believe that Singapore science will succeed. Indeed, with your collaborative efforts, we will succeed together. 
thank you and wishing you all the success in your journey ahead.